So the example I'm going to be doing is days of the week. So there are seven days of the week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, all the way through Saturday, and they have a certain structure to them. So the day after Thursday, for example, is Friday. The day before Tuesday is Monday. And so we're going to encode a little bit of that into hot. So let's start with the informal description. So we're going to define a new type, the type of days of the week. And so we're going to call this type day. And there's going to be exactly seven terms of type day. There's going to be Sunday, Monday, etc. So this is our informal description of the type. Is We say that we have this type and we say what the terms of it are. If we want to state that formally in our deductive calculus as inference rules, then this is what it looks like. So we need to give a formation rule. And so the formation rule says that with no preconditions whatsoever, day is a type. And then we have to give an introduction rule. Actually, we have to give seven introduction rules. So we assert that Sunday is a day, Monday is a day, Tuesday is a day, and so on. So this is the formalization in the deductive system. We give an inference rule for the formation, and we give an inference rule for the introduction. Before I move on to the computer formalization, let's add a little bit more interesting structure to this. So for each day D, we're going to have, we're going to define two other days, the next day and the previous day. So for example, next of Tuesday is going to be Wednesday, and previous of Thursday is going to be Wednesday. So here I'm, I'm informally asserting these judgmental equalities. This is informal because this is for a person to read and they can fill in the details because people know what Tuesday is and what, what Wednesday is and etc. But this isn't really that formal. If I wanted to be formal and use inference rules, then I'd do it like this. I'd use these two inference rules to assert that for any day D, I can form next of D and previous of D. And then I'd have to give a bunch of different rules spelling out what is next of D. And so I'd write it out like this. So you can read through all those and make sure I got all my days right. So that's next. And then for previous, we can be a little bit, we can be a little bit more slick and just say that if the next day from D1 is D2, then the previous of D2 is D1. And so combining that with all the rules for next, we can figure out what previous of any day is. So that's what it looks like. So that's what this day type looks like informally and formally in the deductive system. And finally, this is what it looks like in the Aragda formalization. So I declare a new type day and I give it seven terms of that type, seven constructors. So Sunday through Saturday, all are terms of type day. And so I can infer types. So I can say Saturday is a term of type day. And I can compute too. I can say normalize Saturday. And well, that's going to just give me back Saturday because there's nothing more to compute there. And I can define our and I can define our next and previous as parameterized terms. So I can say next takes a day and gives me back a day. And so I'm going to do something I did in the Agda example from the previous video and set a goal. So how to set a goal is you just put a question mark and then you just load. And then Agda sets up this little window where you're supposed to give something of the appropriate type. And it says, hey, on the right hand side here, I need a day. So I said that this next operation is going to take a day and give back a day. So it takes in a day D and it needs to, I need to write another day here. And so it would be a little bit tedious for me to have to write, you know, write out next of Sunday is Monday, next of Monday is Tuesday. And so Agda can help me out a little bit here using casing. So I can case split on the variable D, and Agda will generate all these lines of code for me. So I still have to say what everything, what all these right-hand sides are, but I can 
but Agda has saved me at least this amount of work. So let me go ahead and fill these in. And we're all done. So in order to fulfill a goal, you use the control C, control space command, which is to give the contents of a goal. And so this defines my next operation. So I can compute with it. So I can say next of Friday is Saturday. And then of course the previous operation, I've already done a little bit here and it's basically the same deal. And so I can compute with that as well. So, And so finally, let me note, we can do informal calculations to get judgmental equalities. So if I want to know what next, next, next of Tuesday is, well, then I can calculate this out. I can say that that's judgmentally equal to next, next of Wednesday, which is judgmentally equal to next of Thursday, which is judgmentally equal to Friday. And then Friday is judgmentally equal to prep of Saturday. And so using the transitivity of judgmental equality that I mentioned earlier, I can conclude from this that next, next, next of Tuesday is judgmentally equal to prep of Saturday. And indeed, we can confirm this by typing it into Agda. So next, next, next Tuesday is Friday. as is previous of Saturday. So this is a computational confluence. So that is how we do hot. So next time what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be introducing the type of Booleans. So that'll be motivated by our programming interpretation, but we'll see that it's a, a very nice type in hot and we can give it the same kind of treatment that we've done here for a unit and for days of the week. So see you next time. Thank you.